Hey everyone, welcome back. I want to show you something really exciting. Let's hit that switch and let me step back. Now over here you're able to see I have some new system in front of you. This is a new germination station that I bought. This is basically a, a standard 10 by 20 uh, bottom tray. The top of the lid is approximately 7 inches tall and the whole thing is 10 inches tall. So it comes with this T5 grow light that's right on top. Very small and thin, very compact. You can see just how tiny that is. And if I lift it up, it gets very bright. Um, the top of the dome comes with these little notches that you're able to put the light right on top so it doesn't slide left um, up and down. But however, it does slide forward and back, so I had to put these little wooden stakes just to keep it from falling because I do come in each day and lift this thing up and I'm gonna be watering it every day just to keep the moisture up nice and high like it is here it's been running for three days now um, and I put in basically some rock wool right, right there at the bottom with a couple of pepper seeds in the middle of those four I have a ground cherry plant over there as well as one more plant that I can't seem to remember what it is right now I gotta check my list later and so that's been going really well. I've been pouring water at the bottom because it's on this heat mat over here that's keeping it perfect temperature for the seed to germinate. What, however though, it is making it nice and hot at the bottom of the tray, so it's definitely making the, all the water that's down there evaporate and go up around. And you can see all the condensation right all over this basically this dome which is fantastic for humidity and it's going to keep the plants nice and healthy and seven inches is going to be a good height for me to to be able to, to see um, if I need to elevate um, the rock wall that's down there bring it a little bit higher closer to the lights while it's still young or is it going to be good in there since it's going to be its own climate basically um, if I lift it up you can see a little bit better you can see as I'm lifting, it, the light is staying even though it's pretty vertical now. So I just basically come in each day and I water it, so let me pull this out a little. Now with the humidity, it is going to make uh, water particles go around the outside of the rim. However, if your plants are in the center, you want to make sure that those are being maintained. Now you can see the rock wool is starting to dry out a little bit on the side right here. The color is beginning to change. Um, I normally use Coco Core. I wanted to give rock wool another try, so I tried this new company that has some good reviews. Um, so we'll see, we'll give it a test. And I just basically pour water all around. There's no real science, just get this thing nice and wet, but not drenched. So that's plenty of water right there. Let me step back, you guys could see a little bit better. And I just covered this thing back up. Now, this, this dome comes with these little notches up top that basically t act as air vents, and you're able to open that and close that as much as you want. I've been keeping it approximately like about a, like a quarter open on both ends, on both sides have it. Only two corners, the other two corners are regular. And if you get a second dome, um, you could basically align the lights this way I assume that's why the notches go that way I'm not sure but I've been keeping it right in the center as well as the the seeds that I want to germinate right in the center there and that's I think the company right over here I'm, I'll, I'll post the link for the one that I used in the description bar down below this isn't an ad for them or like any type of advertising I'm just showing you guys something new that I'm experimenting and trying out and hopefully it does well if it does do good, I'm technically only going to need this one system here and my grow tent here. So we're going to keep that going. Um, if you guys liked the episode, please hit the thumbs up as always and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon for more.